Yo, what's good, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Been a minute since I've seen y'all, but in my defense, not much was going on. Maybe y'all can tell me what to do in the off time, but right now it's the on time. HRX is in just a couple of weeks, like two. So it's right around the block. SWC is going to be at HRX. What are all these letters? Smite World Championship at High res Expo. World Championship means that we're going to have a competition, which means that we've got a bracket to break down. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. And uh, here, where's the button? Here we go. All right. So, this is what we've got. It looks complicated. It really looks complicated. I know that. But... At the end of the day, basically what's happening is we've got two stages of the World Championship. Well, it's on one single stage area, but there'll be two placement. Whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. Essentially, we have placement rounds right here. You see, you see, you see. Well, that's not the button. You see right here, placement rounds. So, we got to do placements first. And that will lead into where we get into the quarterfinals and everything. And that's the real meat and potatoes of the show. So, let's look at uh, where the placement stages are going to go. Luminosity Gaming versus Silly Esports. Now, listen, I actually went down to PAX. Um, I went to Australia this year. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I got to meet the guys on Silly Esports. This is... So, every year from Australia, we saw Dire Wolves. LG Dire Wolves. I got their jacket in my other room, right? Like... This is the squad. You're used to seeing dire wolves do their thing. But they had a bunch of drama. They're not here no more. Rose going to come as an analyst. So see you later, old guard. Hello, new guard. Silly esports. Quite literally, the young guns of the scene. These dudes are all mad young. They're really cool, really excitable. Shout outs to Envisionize, the jungler who, like, is on a different planet. That dude just always loves having fun, always about it. That's basically what he's doing. Um, this team is sort of de facto led by Ming Yu, the hunter from Dire Wolves, the last time we saw them actually competitively playing. So there is a little bit of uh, legacy there, if you will. This team is fun. This team is good. This team had a fantastic performance at their finals. They came back from a whole bunch of stuff. But I don't have to tell you the story of Jeff Hinla and um, Barracuda this year. I think very simply, that's the wrong button. I think very simply that we're going to see Luminosity Gaming win here. That's match number one. So match number one winner. Well, that's kind of funny, actually. How do I paste? How do I? Can I copy here and then paste here? I can! Oh, yeah. So we're going to see. We're going to see Luminosity Gaming here, I believe. I think that's what we see here. And I think that we take a look at Scylla. And we... Unfortunately for them, I think they're going to go ahead and I think they're going to... Well, I think they're going to go ahead and lose. So I think they're going to be down here. So Scylla Esports will get knocked down to the knockout rounds. Right? I don't know what... Th this is not what I want to do delete well now we have a whole mess okay whatever um next up energy versus nocturnes gaming same story now i didn't go and see nocturnes play in their national environment but i think this one goes without saying as well i think energy are on some other stuff right now and i think that this is the squad that is going to have to be beaten here so we're going to see luminosity versus energy in quarterfinals this is a really big deal for me i think we're gonna see luminosity and energy in quarterfinals which is gonna be insane like that's that's just nutty to me um same thing here i think black dragons is probably the only team that actually internationally has a spot here i think obey alliance easily wins over entity not much to really talk about there um, the international teams have historically struggled against NA and EU, and I think that Obey looks even stronger um, than we've seen them in the past. Match winner three goes down here. Match winner four, I think we see Elevate 
Um, this one should actually be really interesting. I expect that this match will be more interesting than people expect. Not that I don't think, not that I'm discounting what Elevate does, but I think the Black Dragons are better than people expect. I still think this one resulted in, in an Elevate win, but this should be a very interesting game. Don't forget, these placement rounds are best of ones. So we're going to see how that one works out, leaving us with Obey versus Elevate. And then we will see match two, assuming everything goes as planned. We will see Nocturne's Gaming play against Scylla, who I think Scylla comes out on top. And then we see Entity play against... Oh, well, that's Nocturnes. We're going to get there, folks. We're going to get there. Look at this. Paint with Tom. Then we see Entity play against BD. So I think this is where we're at right here. Coming out of these knockout rounds, oh no, is this four? I guess this is match five. I think out of match five, we see uh, Black Dragons come out on top of Entity. Black Dragons just have a little bit more um, history on their squad. We've seen them do it a number of times before. Um, and then we take a look at Scylla. I think Scylla will actually be the better of Nocturnes, judging off of their performance from their... Uh, regional championship. So this is what I expect to see when Worlds is all said and done with the placement rounds. I expect Team Rival to take on Scylla, Luminosity to take on Energy, E United to take on Black Dragons, and Obey Alliance to take on Elevate. Okay, um, Rival versus Scylla. I think Rival. I think Scylla can win a game here. I I, I don't think that they're going to roll over and die. But I think that this is a rival's chance to go ahead and, and, and be the Mama Jamma, for sure. So I think Rival comes through here and takes the victory. LG versus Energy, let's get to that later. E United versus Black Dragons. E United is one of the best teams here. No question. No conversation. Polar Bear Mike, we'll see you in semifinals. Obey Alliance versus Elevate. You know, it's interesting here. Obey Alliance have typically been the team that is just better than you, right? And y'all know how I feel about those teams, or, or maybe you don't. If you're newer to the Smite world, my, I think that it is one thing to be the leader of the meta. It's another thing to be ahead of the meta or outside of the meta. When we see a team like Team Rival, when we see a team like Energy, these are teams, Team Rival has been outside of the meta. They do what they want. And they want what they do. Energy Esports, ahead of the meta. They've always done what they want to do, but sort of with respect to the meta. Airy, Deathwalker's pulling out Airy Solo with an Athena and just whatever works for them. Energy is playing the meta, but taking a step ahead and playing Kronos. And also just being better than you. Being better than other players at the game is not good enough anymore. You need to be... An innovator, whatever that means, whether that means playing crazy stuff or just following the natural progression of the meta a step further than the rest of the playing field. I think Elevate has done that. And in a best of three scenario, I think that Elevate can come out on top above Obey Alliance. I think this is possible. I think this is plausible. And I think this is something that the millions and millions of pretty Prime fans and the tens of Ataraxia fans have to be ready for is the fact that I very realistically think that Elevate can win this quarterfinals match. There is not a doubt in my mind that they are at least capable. And in a best of five, in a best of three series, I absolutely think that Elevate can win two games against Obey. I think this is 100% factual. And I think that we can see these guys come out on top. Best of three. I do think if this is a five scenario, we see Obey go ahead. But Elevate takes this one in a three-game series. 
Luminosity Gaming versus Energy. Another match where I'm not going to make many friends here. Um, I love Barracuda. I love Jeff Finla. Stephen A. Smith voice. LeBron James is a good friend of mine. I can't do it. I always make him English for some reason. Anyway, my point is everybody loves LG. We saw the documentary. Energy are back on their bullshit, baby. Um, Luminosity is playing the best smite since they have won the world championship in season one. Meaning specifically Barra and Jeff. I believe that. Energy, however, are back to form. They looked what they they looked like what they needed to look like at Super Regionals. The question is, yes, they are back on their bullshit, but how how hard how how much Luminosity Gaming has this surge of 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 character and pride off of the back of the community embracement from the documentary. Energy has this burst of just that energy after the uh, the Super Regionals. Now, how much of that actually matters? Personally, I think that Energy is the stronger team here. But I think that LG can win in a best of three. That said, this is going to be perhaps... This is going to be one of the best sets all weekend. Whoever you pick here, have fun. I think this is... Saying a coin toss kind of devalues the level of play that we're going to see. So I don't want to minimize this to say it's a coin toss, but this will be very close. I think either of these teams can win to be that guy. I will say that I think energy comes out on top. I do think energy is going to come out on top. And I think the difference maker is going to be maniac. Not necessarily that he's going to carry every game, but I think that Luminosity Gaming will be able to step up to energy in all positions, including the jungle. Not that necessarily Mask will be as good as adapting, not that he can't be, but that the fact that the team will handle it, the team will take care of it, and the team will deal with it. So, taking a look at the semifinals, after all said and done, in my book, I have Team Rival beating Scylla, Energy beating Luminosity. E United beating Kliz. And, excuse me, Elevate beating Obey. Now, I had said that I wanted Elevate to win Worlds, and I do. But I think that this match will keep them... Excuse me, I have the hiccups. In the dark. I think that this one is going to be a little bit tougher. And I think that United is just a stronger team than Elevate in the long run. If they can figure out the strategy, which I think they can. Polar Bear Mike has led his team to victory. I expect to see United in the finals of the Smite World Championship. Across the stage from a European counterpart. Team rival. I think... And I know this is batty. I think Team Rival takes it all the way to the finals with E United. And this is going to be, remember I said LG and Energy are going to be the fun set to watch? LG versus Energy is going to be the fun set to watch for the storyline, for the for the legacy, for the history. But Team Rival versus E United, New Blood on the final stage. I am so excited for this finals. I realistically think this will happen. Even if Obey makes it over Elevate to the semis, which is a very realistic possibility, I think that E United beats Obey in the semifinals, although they will have a harder time. E United beats Elevate easier than they beat Obey, but I think they beat both teams. Team Rival beats both Energy and Luminosity Gaming. And we wind up with this. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> that looks beautiful. I think this will be our finals. I really and truly do. Now, how do I think this one is going to go? This is going to go all five games. This is very easily going to go all five games. Most definitely. And who wins it? 
is another. Don't want to call it a coin toss. I think that this is up to United and Team Rival to figure out each other's strategies. I think Polar Bear Mike is a fantastic strategist. I think what Team Rival bring to the table uh, also is, is tough to deal with. This is going to go the, the distance. This will not be a 3-0 set or, or, or a stomp in any stretch of the imagination. I have trouble calling this one. And I, I call this for Team Rival. But don't be surprised when Polar Bear Mike lifts up that trophy. I think that your winners of the SWC this year are Team Effin' Rival. I really think that they're going to win. I think they're going to take five games, but I think they can beat Polar Bear Mike and friends. It's just up to Death Walker and the rest of the squad. Those are my SWC predictions for the PC side of things. Thanks for watching. Do the subscribing and stuff. If you guys have any other ideas for, for videos y'all want to see, put it in the comments and I will make them. The whole thing, lack of videos, not lack of uh, motivation. I just don't have any ideas for videos outside of like bracket stuff like this. So, I mean, if we're doing this, we're doing this. And I want to get more involved. So, again, don't forget, Team Rival, SWC Champions, 2018. Thanks again for watching. Let me get my screen up and we'll catch you next time. Boom, boom, tsh, boom, 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 tsh. Yeah, that's the outro.